Well, I'm going to put out something which I think is the biggest snake oil profession on the face of the earth. And, you know, I don't can't stand medical people. Now, I'm very much into health and healing now. I mean, as far as the cause of health and healing and keeping that going and positive attitude and long life and trying to live your life the best possible. And maybe life can go on forever. Even maybe there might be a way that that can happen, even in this body. That's probably possible someday. But as far as the established medicine, especially in Western medicine, they're probably the worst of the worst, and with the exceptions of being traumatic injuries. You know, if you've had a severe injury to your head from a stone falling on it or something, uh, they could stitch together probably those guys. You're not going to be able to do that with herbs, that's for sure. But in most cases, they are horrible. But the worst of the worst, and I see them as the biggest snake oil going, is the psych psychologist or the psychiatrist actually it should be psychiatrist on here versus psychologist because they administer the poisons um, and you know I'm going to point out something else this is right off of uh, Wikipedia it's the uh, diagnostic, diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders and they have a code for everything you know they used to never have codes for this stuff I read a little bit of history on this because um, but, you know, this is one thing I picked up about this that I see is really wrong. They have this other thing in here. Like, you always have this catch-all category called other, you know, O-T-H-E-R. It's like in accounting. So you had a catch-all category called miscellaneous. Miscellaneous income, miscellaneous expense, miscellaneous capital expenditure. Hmm. Miscellaneous goodwill. I got a new asset, miscellaneous goodwill. Hmm. Anyway, I never trust anything that says miscellaneous or other. It should be. <laughs> but if you look down his code of snake oil, you got NOS, not otherwise specified. How many times is it na named? And you look down here, you have learning disorder, not otherwise specified. Reading disorder, mathematics disorder, disorder of written expression. So in other words, if you go to school and you just can't learn something, you got a disorder, so we got to give you some medicine, baby. Um, communication disorder. Now, you could have expressive language disorder, mixed perception expressive language disorder. Uh, you can't pronounce your words disorder, stuttering, right? You know, in other words, phonics. Communication disorder, not otherwise specified. So it doesn't fall into any other category. You got another, not otherwise specified. This is what I call the job security NOS, not otherwise specified. Persu <laughs> you know, persuasive de uh, development disorders, autistic, Rett's childhood, uh, d d um, disingredive disorder, Asperger's disorder. I don't know what the hell this garbage is, but then you have not other specified. Attention deficit disorder, not other, not otherwise specified. Again, again. See, this is what I really, you know, these codes are a pile of bullshit as it is. But you know how many times they put this other category in there? Other, not otherwise specified. So in other words, if you can't put it into one of these other things, which are total bullshit in most cases anyway, you could just put a code not other specified, not otherwise specified. Uh, tick disorders, I don't know what the hell that is. Tourette's disorders, I think I remember what it was, but I don't remember. But then you have tick disorder, not otherwise specified. This is a big indication these guys are major snake oil. Disorder of infancy, childhood, or adolescence, not otherwise specified. It's like delirium, not otherwise specified. In other words, there's dementia, delirium, and other cognitive cognitive disorders but then you have the type that's not otherwise specified now they, they name they got hundreds of codes here to name every damn thing there is but they have to have all these not otherwise specified codes you know they have dementia due to this dementia due to that dementia due to this dementia not otherwise specified I mean they, they list the dozens of them for dementia you know Am, am, amnestic disorders where you forget or whatever the hell it is not otherwise specified again cognitive disorders they have all types of other cognitive disorders 
not otherwise specified. See, this is a good indication what these jackasses are about. You know what you should do? When you pay them, not otherwise specified. That's the amount. Not otherwise specified. Go try to cash that, you piece of shit. That's what you need to do to these jerks. Not otherwise specified. You know, mental disorders due to general medical condition not otherwise elsewhere classified. Then you have underneath there, mental disorder not otherwise specified. Now, does this tell you? Now, now I'd love to make a chart of accounts that said miscellaneous all over the goddamn place. How's that? Miscellaneous this, miscellaneous that. You look on the top, assets, miscellaneous, liabilities, miscellaneous, net worth, miscellaneous. And we can use those for numbers. We can use descriptive words. The numbers can be not otherwise specified. And we'll deposit that into your account, not otherwise specified. Well, there's nothing there. Well, it's not otherwise specified, Doc. What did I tell you? You know, the problem is you got these psycho females going along with this shit. And I know I'm sexist, but you know what? This is something I got to point out. Yeah, I'm sexist, right? I think females are nuts, okay? A lot of them. And I think it's due not because of their inherent genes or anything like that or hormonal balance. I think it's coming from these freaking psychologists and diet pills and uh, aspartame and sweet and low, which comes from sugar, right? They're killing your brain while you're trying to get rid of fat. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not good for you. A quiet man is a thinking man. A quiet woman is usually mad. Very true. Very true. But anyways, not otherwise specified. I'll just uh, plead the fifth. Uh, related disorder, not otherwise specified, includes, you know, these guys, and I'm not even halfway down the list. You know, how many times do these jerks put down not otherwise specified? Here, cannabis for smoking, uh, abuse, dependence, you know, weed. Cannabis, abuse, dependence, induced anxiety disorder from cannabis, induced psychotic disorder with delusions, with hallucinations, intoxications, intoxication, delirium. So you got all these different things for cannabis, but then you got related disorder not otherwise specified. So if they can't figure out what's wrong with you, NOS, baby, not otherwise specified. You pick one. You got dozens of them. So that's what I call job security. But you got to pay him in currency called not otherwise specified, you know. Give him some beads. <laughs> Give him some beads. That should do it. Cocaine. You know, all these different things. Abuse, dependence, anxiety, mood, psychotic disorder with delusions, hallucinations, sexual dysfunction, sleep disorder, intoxication, intoxication, delirium. Related disorder. Not otherwise specified. So... Here's another one. I mean, here you go. Hallucination. Not otherwise specified. Well, are you seeing things? No. Are you hearing things? No. Well, you got a problem. Not otherwise specified. There you go. <laughs> this is what I got to tell you about these guys. These are guys are bad news. Bad news. Related. Nicotine related disorder. And, you know, I could tell you what the problem is with these guys. For the most part, these bastards... I'm going to give them this word, these bastards, these evil bastards. They're crazy themselves. That's why they went into this damn field in the first place. I'm accusing them of this. I don't give a damn, you know, if this is politically incorrect or not. Psychologists and psychiatrists usually go into that field because they're freaking nuts themselves and they're trying to figure out what their problem is. People who go into fields to help people, they're usually going to social worker. That type of stuff. Or to get involved in religious functions and charities. They don't go around trying to label people with the code book for money. These people are usually nuts. And you know, I'm going to state it flat out. Your, your biggest customers usually are females. It's like the guy is too busy to even bother with that shit. You know, it's like the guy has a problem to have a beer. Maybe it'll be a lot of beer drinkers or something, or an alcoholic or some crap, but they still function and they still get the job done. And I'm telling you, and you know, you could say this is sexist as all hell, but I'm telling you this straight from the heart. Women, do not trust these psychologists. If you got problems where you feel like this and you feel like that and you don't feel right, a lot of times I found out, and you know, this goes right back to uh, anorexia, anorexia, which sometimes is a problem. Um, 
with the quest of trying to lose every ounce of fat that you have, you're doing it through substances that are killing your brain. And a lot of times it's from, um, you know, the things they say are safe. Everything out there that says diet on it is a freaking poison that you go to the supermarket. And you know what? This is a large part why in, in women are having problems with this shit. I guarantee you. Because there's this quest to be the fashion model all the time. And it's killing your brain in this quest because you're not going about it in natural ways. Uh, you're probably better off having a, a problem with doing too much cardio or some kind of garbage than to ever freaking take the method of taking diet foods. Diet foods will kill your brain, no doubt about it. But then when a psychiatrist see you, and even if you have some little mild problem, they could put out a 15 dozen, I'm exaggerating, but maybe they have dozens of codes on here that are not otherwise specified. So if there's really nothing wrong with you, they're going to put codes down anyway because they want money. That's what they're about. They're evil bastards, and they're going to give you more shit to screw you up. So uh, this is straight from the heart, so I don't think I'm going to win any brownie points with this freaking video, that's for sure. Because it sounds like a big anti-female video, but it's not. It's actually a pro-female video because I'm trying to tell you exactly what the problem is. And I come across this a little bit too many times that I realize the biggest customers are of, of psychologists usually are women. And also the um, chiropractors too. Chiropractors. And 99% of the problems can be alleviated through proper nutrition or eliminating anything that is artificial. So again, the psychologists who are evil as all hell in my book, not otherwise specified, I don't care if you walk in there and you were the most normal person in the world, you could say, well, I think you're depressed. Depressive disorder, not otherwise specified. I can't figure it out. I mean, even though I got all these different categories, partial remission, mild, moderate, severe with psychotic features, severe without psychotic features, unspecified. They even got unspecified. I forgot, I forgot about that. They got unspecified. You know, well, I think you have it, so hmm, here's the code. I'll write down the code. You know what these codes are? You are hiding behind it. These bearded son of a bitches with the thick glasses are hiding behind it. And they're acting like they know what you got. Well, it's a 296.3. It's unspecified. And, you know, you can walk around, lady, woman. And this is what I see a lot of times. Man, I know this ain't going to be a popular video. But I'm telling you straight up. You can walk around like you're uh, the victim of the world that you got the 296.3. But guess what? It ain't helping you, period, lady. Not at all. You're just helping the pocketbook of this freaking dork with a beard that walks around like he's God on earth. He's a narcissistic bastard looking for money. So, you know, my opinion of these jerks is you're paying with unspecified funds and not otherwise specified funds. And that's the way to pay the jerks. And then they'll pretty much go out of business. Because I can't imagine myself as an accountant or a finance guy saying, unspecified as an amount. How's that? Unspecified, not otherwise specified account with an amount of unspecified. That's basically what these snake oil bastards are doing. And they're mainly catering to women. So, you know, this is not going to be a popular video. I know that. Maybe it will be. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm just telling you the truth on this YouTube. I don't freaking pull any... Well, I do pull punches. I do tone it down a lot. If you really want to know what I think, you're not going to hear it on YouTube because these guys are evil as all hell. So I think they're worse than the religious kooks on the top of Iran. And you know what I think about them, right? Right? I mean, it's just like that. These guys are like religious kooks. These psychologist bastards, they're just as bad as the uh, Inquisition that's what they are about, except they do it with drugs, you know, psychiatrists. So, and uh, most of their victims will be women. So if you want to be a victim, go right to them. Bipolar disorder, not otherwise specified. And then you have under that, unspecified. <laughs> unspecified again, down here. Unspecified. So you have all these different types of bipolar, but then you have under them, unspecified too. So you know what you call this? Snake oil, fake, complete pseudoscience. You need to pay them with 
um, beads, you know, plastic beads. Here you go. I just, well, guess what? They're unspecified. You know, the value is whatever you want. Here's some beads, psychologist. You know, you go down to five, the dollar store, get yourself some beads. You pay them in some beads. That'll pretty much shut these jerks up forever because the only reason they're making out is because they got paid by, um, you know, the health insurance. And the big problem with this, you know, another reason I'm bringing this up, this is probably too damn long already, but uh, the other reason I'm bringing this up this is going to be the method through national health care that they're really going to kill the dissenters. They're going to shut up dissenters. Anybody's bitching about something, they're going to shut them up through this. And this is exactly how they did it in the Soviet Union. When the Soviet Union was around, they did it. They didn't have them in gulags. They had them in psychiatric institutes. So all you Ron Paul supporters... You're going to have a little code under here. Even if you don't have Ron Paul, you can always use unspecified or NOS not otherwise specified. So that's what's going to happen. So this is actually, and uh, right now, I mean, really, with the ones they're really preying on the most, and I'm not talking like P-R-A-Y, I'm talking about P-R-E-Y, is women. Women. These guys aren't helping you. The number way to help yourself, actually, if you feel like something's wrong this way or that way, is to um well I'm gonna I actually have other videos out on that through um electro microelectricity but also a lot of it is through nutrition. I'm probably gonna put a lot more videos out on that because uh I realize that this stuff is actually more of a problem and I'd love to put these jackass psychiatrists and psychologists right the hell out of business, period. People wanna help people, guess what? Go help Get out, get it yourself in a charitable organization. Be a social worker. Get out there in a community and do it. Don't go label people with bullshit codes that say not otherwise specified and unspecified. And give them a pile of drugs while you grease your palm with lots of fiat dollars. Because you guys are the worst scum on the earth. So, you get right back to it. Yeah. Psychologists and psychiatrists, in my opinion, are the craziest people on the face of the earth. I mean, most people, normal people, see these people, and they could pick up right away. They're freaking nuts. They're nuts. Yet, they're going around with the medicines and shit, and they're giving it to women, making them even more crazy. So, that's one thing I see as a problem. So, uh, you know, anyway, just being bluntly honest, as always. So, uh, if you don't like it, I don't know. But uh, I think you should look at some of what I had to say about unspecified and not otherwise specified. And that is a major, major indication of the snake oil that goes on in these fields. Before, they never had those codes. So, they used to just say, I think this. The codes make it sound like it's uh, got a medical authority. It's part of the sales pitch. It's bullshit. It's total freaking Scott Da. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's Scott Da in Greek, right? So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, but the fact that these guys are running a big lucrative business and there's loads of them making shit loads of money tells me there's lots of people getting screwed up by them and they're not waking up and I'm trying to wake you up. So, you know, if I put, I, I punched you right between the eyes uh, figuratively as a, you know, as a female and you're like getting all mad at me, uh, I hope you wake up because, uh, these guys are screwing you up. And if you think you're bipolar or whatever, you, there's other ways to get rid of it. You don't need to be going through these clowns. They are screwing you up. And when you get older, you're going to regret it like a son of a bitch. I'll guarantee you that.